over the last 10 years, of course, lots of changes to the, the qualities of education in Cambodia. But one thing which is very noticeable, in the past, 10 years ago, we focused mainly on the quantity. We try to make sure that the students are in school, to make sure that the students can have access to school. But right now, within the, the last uh, 10 years, we focus more on quality. Now the students are in school, and we try, uh, uh, ministry have taken action to, to improve the quality. And I think, I, I believe that the, uh, the collaboration with the Irish institution will make us even stronger. And we work together for the improvement of qualities in education in Cambodia. It's actually hard to say where the partnership began, you know, because it's such a big part of all our lives, those of us who are involved in it. It's like we were in partnership with Cambodia forever. I, I can't think of a time when I didn't have Cambodian friends and I wasn't, you know, thinking about Cambodia or coming back and forth. But it actually started in 2013. I was working as the principal of a primary school in Dublin and uh, one of our parents was constantly uh, recommending or suggesting that we should get a partner school or organisation in the developing world because we were doing a lot of work on equality and justice issues and she said I love the lessons you're doing and I love the work you're doing um, but you really need to put flesh on the bones of what you're doing and have real connection to the developing world. We started this idea, concept of um, a partnership, using a partnership approach to, to really bring global citizenship alive. In the summer of 2013, four of the teachers in the school, uh, Colm, Cormac, Jenny and Neve, travelled to Cambodia to try and find us a partner organisation. When we found Peppy, we knew straight away that this was a partnership for us. Peppy Empowering Youth is a non-for-profit organisation. Uh, we will uh, focus on improving education, quality education. We focus on youth development. We have three levels of youth, high school youth, university youth and entrepreneurs. Many students from rural areas do not um, get much opportunity. Pepe is one of the, the organizations that has its kind of bridging from high school to university. When we found Pepe, we were astounded by the principles that they, they hold themselves to and the way that they focus on really supporting their students um, and the wider community. We engage parents to be a part of our programs. So we conduct like how visit to the, the community and uh, we talk about their children's education. When they know about our program, they tend to support their, their children more in, in education. Normally, we welcome teachers from Ireland to come over to Cambodia and provide um, very good and interactive session to Cambodian uh, students. So uh, we learned a lot from that. We learned co about culture, we learned about theory, we learned about changes, we learned about languages. From my experiences there, I've come back genuinely a, a different teacher. Mm -hmm. Visits have empowered me as a teacher to focus on teaching that will empower young people. And I spent a year, a year working with Pepe, uh, working with scholarship students, uh, working with staff um, and learning. It was a really, really enriching experience. That, that year has subsequently become 10 now and, and Cambodia is my home. One of the most important things when you're developing a partnership is, is to connect really at a values level, you know. Um, so even though the two organisations were very, very different, um, 
we really stood for the same things. We really believed passionately about the same things. You know, a belief in a world where people are treated equally, a, a belief in the power of education. So we, we were a great match on a, on a values, on a philosophical level. And you need that first. One of the big game changers in the whole process was when Micheál Garvey, one of the teachers in the school, decided that Irish teachers are going over to Cambodia, but if we really are an equal partnership, we need to get Cambodian people back to Ireland. So on our return, we got together a few of us and made a pitch to the Irish National Teachers Organisation, our primary school teachers trade union, but more than that, a support organisation. And we pitched, we met uh, John, and uh, John, um, he immediately seemed to embrace this concept. In 2015, it was the first year of Cambodia travel to Ireland. We have four, we have four people, two students and two staff members. So we went there, there was a big group come to welcome us at the airports and we went to the school to say hello to the students. So at Pepe we work with like older students. When we go to uh, Ireland, we see a lot of younger children in primary school and they are enthusiastic and we share about Cambodian history, Cambodian daily life. And also we went to a different classroom to meet with the students and share about a different part of Cambodian culture as well. They stayed in different houses, so they would come for three weeks and they'd stay with one family for a week. And it was like they infected the whole community. I joined our Cambodia Island Exchange program in 2018. Going there is not just, you know, like sitting down in the classroom and just listen to the teacher, but to learn, to learn by seeing things, to learn by are exploring ourselves or in that in that environment. I love lots of things uh, in, in Ireland. I love the environment, I love the people, I love uh, the education system especially. I love the teachers who, um, who are very professional, educating the kids, working with kids, and the way they they share or teach the, the lesson to the kids. So I think that's that's what I, I learned and I apply it in uh, Cambodia, especially in Papi, what I learned from there and apply, I apply in my lesson in, in our English class too. I learned a lot because, you know, in Cambodia, when the, the students come back home, they might put their bag away and mommy might be busy with the field and wouldn't be able to check. But in there, when I stay with my host family, they said, what did you learn in school? They feel interested in their kid learning and then the kid reported and then they also review the work. I think it's a culture that I really want to bring back to Cambodia. Just to spend time with our visitors um, in your home is such a special um, feeling and um, to get to know them so well and to get to know about their families and for the children of the house, that's, you know, the parents totally benefit, but the children really benefit from seeing this. And, you know, talk about breathing life into, into something, you know, because we're teaching the kids about Cambodia, we're teaching them about um, the partnership and life in a very different country, and they're learning all about Cambodia and all this. But the difference between that and actually meeting four Cambodians who are coming into their classrooms and are chatting to them, telling their life stories, um, dancing, singing, since then, the partnership has grown over the years till now. Many Irish teachers came over to Cambodia, thought about Irish uh, lessons, culture, and from Cambodia as well through the support from the Irish National uh, Teacher Organization, the INTO. So we are able to travel uh, to, to Ireland. With Peppy, you know, we're, we're dealing with young um, people from the rural community in, in Cambodia who are getting this chance to, for further education. But as a primary school teacher, I was really, really drawn towards the primary school system. And Colin Byrne, one of the original teachers who now 
lives and uh, here in Cambodia, he moved towards this organization called CB on Borders, where he, he works now as the CEO of International Operations. And it's all about making systemic change. CB on Borders is a uh, NGO charity dedicated to improving uh, quality education. We work primarily in, in, in primary schools and we work within the public uh, education system. Uh, we work to improve teacher skill sets, uh, improve learning outcomes for children, to get children up to minimum levels uh, of learning. In terms of enrolment for children in, 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 in grade one, it's very high, so it's something like 98% of children enroll in school, which is fantastic. Uh, a challenge is keeping children in school. So if you look at the totality, the mean years of schooling in Cambodia is five years, lower than Vietnam, Thailand, all neighbouring countries. Uh, so we have a massive challenge on that. And why don't children often stay in school? Is it because of school buildings? No. Is it because of infrastructure? No. It's due to the quality of education. So if a child can't read or write by the time they're in, in, in third grade, for instance, they're far more likely to drop out of school. So if we can get children learning in school by supporting teachers, school principals, school leaders, mothers, etc., we have a far greater chance of keeping them in school. And if a child is kept in school, life prospects are enhanced. They have a passport for life. So quality teaching is the big focus of C Beyond Borders, really the core of, of, of our operations for Cambodia. We provide uh, workshops to teachers and we also use like build the um, in-school mentoring program. We believe in the paradigms of uh, constructivism. So that's why if we just have the mentoring, which is a mechanism that they can engage with their peers and, and try to, to engage their learnings. Just working with teachers alone is not enough. So we engage with the communities, basically parents, trying to get them to come to school and build a connection between parent and teachers and the school uh, leaderships. We work in partnership with, with local authorities at a district level. Uh, we also work at provincial level and then the national level as well. Uh, and that means forming relationships uh, at all those levels. And we do at, that at various levels according to the, the work we're doing. So at district level, you know, in terms of when we're doing workshops in schools, etc. And then at the national level, we also have collaborations around research. We have very close uh, collaboration with the CB John Border and uh, National uh, College of Ireland and uh, DOPO, I mean uh, Departments of Policy in the Ministry of Education. Uh, it's such a good uh, uh, collaboration in order to conduct research on professional identity uh, for Khmer teachers, uh, which is known as uh, a picked project. You know, some in, in some areas there's no, you know, the there's no good infrastructures. But the thing is, education is ongoing because of the committed teachers. That is why our institution, which is the teacher education institution, we want to, we want to produce the qualified, the competent teachers. A few years ago, we invited staff from the Ministry of Education and also from the Department of Policy to visit Ireland, um, just to learn together and strengthen the relationship between Cambodia and Ireland. ខ្ញុំជាប្រធានយុគដ្ឋានគោលនយោបាយនៃក្រសួងអប់រំជាជនជាជនជាតិកីឡាហើយនៅឆ្នាំមុននេះខ្ញុំទៅអៀកលក់
bị hưởng khu bị cá bị quan sát tiếp khu bị yên hay nắng chỉ mùi nắng khang nông đài hay dương gặp bông ở trong hiệp trong vạt binner chỉ là biết chia chia vẹt tam online chưa gặp bác thì biết định được này research chuyển policy mà chuyển luôn tiếp chỉ mùi nắng khang sờ lá nữa island tam bây giờ ông cá sĩ on border nắng and this year um, which happens to be in April so we will again invite um, staff from the government to visit um, uh, Ireland and also some staff from CBN border just to exchange and learn from one another and if we can we can help the ministry on their journey and the real reforms in the ministry it's wonderful because all of a sudden our impact is far larger than us on our own and then in 2020 um, we decided to set up uh, an organisation in Ireland um, called See Beyond Borders Ireland to support um, the changes that uh, See Beyond Borders in Cambodia are doing and to try and create quite a bit of solidarity between Irish educators and Cambodian educators and to work together uh, to fulfil our goal, if you like. So our beginning, our beginnings were with Pepe, the link between Pepe and a school in Donabate in North Dublin, focusing on uh, global citizenship, supporting an organisation whose focus was on quality education in Cambodia. And then we grew an ex exciting partnership and relationship with CB on Borders, a wonderful organisation focusing on again on quality education, provision of quality education, and mentoring of teachers, quality teaching. And this grew, this partnership grew. So now we had two main partners who visited Ireland. We visited them, groups of Irish teachers, worked with both organizations. So as we grew, there were so many, we were getting broader and broader. So that's how CICN, Cambodia Ireland Change Maker Network came into being. So the Cambodia Ireland Changemaker Network has evolved from what was a really modest partnership which started with just one primary school in Ireland and one organisation in Cambodia to something that now encompasses organisations outside of education and linked with education and multiple organisations in Ireland and multiple organisations in Cambodia but all coming together with the objective of trying to build strong partnerships based on ethical principles that will contribute to both education in the Irish context and also in the Cambodian context. We're an umbrella group maybe. We support groups, organisations, individuals, activities, again whose focus is quality education. The ecological model is a model that really helps us understand the, the impact and the reach of um, the Cambodia-Ireland uh, partnership. So the ecological model was developed by a man called Brunfenbrenner and we use it in health and we use it in education and it's simply a way of looking at an issue in different ways. So if you imagine um, a diagram of concentric circles, in the middle of the circle there's the individual level. Then there's the family level, then there's the community level, and then there's the systems level on the outside. So systems meaning education systems, health systems, legal systems. This partnership has um, been designed in such a way and has had such an impact that it actually impacts at all levels. And I know from this video, from talking to people, you'll hear that. As the organizations grow, as the activities on the island of Ireland, the activities in Cambodia, the activities in both areas continue. We support, we give assistance, we kind of link people together. Changemaker is a key, uh, key value of ours uh, in terms of creating real and meaningful change in Cambodia, moving beyond a sticker plaster, so doing something genuine and sustainable. I feel that uh, we have the same goals to be one of the chain makers in whether in Cambodia or in Ireland. Um, I think this partnership is incredible the way it focuses on the sustainable development goals, in particular SDG 4, quality education and SDG 17 partnership. It's not often that partnership is seen and is felt as meaningfully as it is in the Cambodia-Ireland uh, partnership. Um, and I think all of us, it's 
it, it's impossible to quantify and to understand the benefits of working in partnership in the way that we do. We have continued to use a, a charter for the quality of partnerships because partnerships is a, an actual development approach and the way to do partnerships, having particular standards and criteria that are really important so that a partnership is developed in a way that is is reciprocal and is transparent and is truly shared where you're aware of the, the, the potential power differentials and that the conversation addresses those and takes into consideration um, the partners and what they need. Um, so I, I'm really, really, really proud of that. Localization and building local capacity is the only way forward and that's probably one of the reasons why we're so interested in the two organizations that, that, uh, that we work with because PEPI is a Cambodian based NGO and it's run by Cambodian people for Cambodian people. Anybody coming in from the outside, we don't have the the insight, the understanding of how, what, what the challenges are and how to fix them. The only way you're going to get any results is if, you, if you're working with local people. And it's, it's the only sustainable way forward. Empowering Cam Cambodians in a genuine sense to, to become the leaders in the organisation and the leaders in decision making is very, very important. Uh, and it's a crucial journey that we're going on. Uh, together and you know our organization is gone from being or is going from being an international organization here in Cambodia to being a local one that will mean we'll have a, we'll have a local board with a Cambodian managing director executive director uh, we need people in Ireland to go with us on that journey uh, and to go with us on the journey in terms of supporting Cambodians in, in, in their tasks supporting Cambodians in their leadership roles supporting Cambodians in terms of areas like research capacity building and likewise, Cambodians may be supporting Irish people around their journey around global citizenship. I see it as a two-way two -way approach. So our thing is to um, support and talk to the really talented Cambodian educators that are here in the system and to offer them solidarity, support, expertise when we can, through dialogue, collaborating with them. And the one thing that has struck both of us is that each student that we meet will always say that when, when I go to university and I get a better job, I can help my family. And if they have a, a younger sibling, a brother or sister, I can help this child to follow me. And, and even, even on a wider situation, they, they know that within their village, people will look at them and say, oh, it can be different. There is no doubt that there's a lot to be done to improve education, but I think the more people are, are assisted through PEPI and CB on Borders to improve their education, I think it will create a, a better awareness in Cambodia that education is so important. When somebody gets a good quality education, they really want it, and that benefit can be seen in terms of you know, life chances. That's inspiring really is and that can help lift standards. Previously we rely on agriculture so if the children are grown enough they can help with the field but right now is the family is different like how they support the family financially is also rely on children education as well so investing in education is good for the family as a whole. In the next 10 years I hope the partnership is going bigger more organization, not just limit to PEPI and see beyond border. I hope the organization that are passionate about education and systematic change transformation can join. And I want to see uh, the Ministry of Education in Cambodia also become more active in the network as well. I want to have more uh, people who are from similar background as me to get more opportunity. I want them to make a, a real change in the society. I really want to uh, have this exchange happen again and again and again and for a long term in the future. So we want you to be a, a center of excellence, uh, you know, that we provide the quality of resources and qualities of project delivery, program deliveries to Cambodian teachers. Ireland is actually 
what we call the, the countries of scholars. And that is what we really want uh, to know more about and uh, to learn uh, from, uh, from Irish people. To a certain extent, we have the uh, different historical background. But the thing is that the best practices, and we look at the possibility, how, how we can actually adapt you know, the best practices in Ireland and to improve or to, con to, to, uh, to contribute to the improvement of the teacher education in Cambodia, the teacher education in this institution, and further even beyond that, to the, the qualities of education in our country. So the work is only beginning. As far as I'm concerned, we've only, you know, we've only just tipped away at it. I want to make sure that, that everybody in Ireland knows Cambodia, knows the challenges they face, knows the opportunities that are here for, for amazing change to, to, to take place with the right support. And um, we particularly want in Cambodia, Ireland, we particularly want to convince the Irish government to focus more on Cambodia. In terms of the education system, there, there have been, you know, there's more signs of, of quality, uh, but we're still a long way to go. Uh, but there's, there's hope in the, in the young generation. In Cambodia, we have a very young population, uh, so half of the population would be, would be under 25 years of age, um, and there's real hope there. I see young Cambodian now are more confident both in their learning as well as when they go out and look for jobs and build their professional career. I see my former students working in different organizations. Some are in education, some are in tourism. It's inspiring and it's also encouraging for younger generations to pursue higher education as well.